Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Garcia, Executive Director of Denver Labor. Auditor O'Brien, I would like to thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit about Denver Labor and how we can help you. Our goal at Denver Labor is to enforce Denver's labor laws and do it in such a way that we help the employer and the employee. We try to do it with as little interference with your work as possible. We enforce five labor laws, prevailing wage. That's the minimum contractors working on Denver projects need to pay their employees. The Davis-Bacon Act, that's the minimum contractors need to pay their employees when working on a federally funded construction project in Denver. Minimum wage, that's the minimum wage anyone working in the city and county of Denver must be paid. Contractor minimum wage, that's the minimum a city contractor must be paid when working on a city project. Living wage. Similarly, that's the minimum contractors must be paid on a very narrow scope of work on city projects. When enforced correctly, labor laws help everyone. Employers get the workforce they need, employees get good paying jobs and the protection they need from the government and the city gets the goods and services it needs. We are trying our best to enforce these laws in a flexible and adaptive way. We're here to help you. Myself and my team, we're here five days a week. Contact us any way that's convenient. We're available through the website, denverauditor.org forward slash Denver Labor by email at wagecomplaints at denvergov.org or by telephone. Call us at 720-913-5039. Thank you. And let me introduce you to one of our best um, analysts. Ariel's gonna talk to us a little bit about LCP Tracker. That's the system we use to review and analyze certified payrolls. Thank you so much, Ariel. Thanks, Jeff. Hi, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. My name is Ariel Dennis. I am a prevailing wage analyst with the Denver Labor Division. We're going to briefly walk through Denver prevailing wage and then get into getting started as a contractor new to LCP tracker. Denver prevailing wage requires payment of prevailing wages on all city projects, whether you're performing work on site or using city dollars for construction, repair, maintenance, improvements, demolition, or janitorial work. We extend pretty far up to Red Rocks, Echo Lake Lodge, and all the way at the Denver International Airport. We are proactively enforcing prevailing wage by the auditor's office. Prevailing wages near the federal, federal, excuse me, federal Davis-Bacon Act wage rates. Um, that means that the federal Davis-Bacon Act already publishes wage rates and we follow the regular and overtime hours, including the fringe benefit information. We also have determinations made by the Office of Human Resources in Denver, which periodically adjust for local markets. Denver prevailing wage is required to be paid on all city projects by all level subs whether that's um, a subcontractor that's a second tier or seventh tier, the prime and general contractors are required to pay the prevailing wage and it trickles down to all of their subcontractors on the projects. There are a lot of different locations and ways to pay prevailing wage. Based on the scope of work and location of the work performed, we focus on four wage determinations, building, heavy, highway, and again, the Office of Human Resources. Building is for anything inside the foundation or footprint of a building. Heavy is anything that's not building or highway, sort of a catch-all. And highway is the construction, repair, maintenance of roads, streets, highways, parking lots, and thoroughfares like bicycle lanes. So heavy is gonna be used a lot of times in parks, and it's also used as a catch-all, so it includes parking garages. OHR is often for tree trimmers or appliance mechanics. We have custodians and a lot of additional classifications are added specifically for DIA. 
Prevailing wages have to be paid on these projects and we'll help you through anything you need. All right, work must be paid correctly. That means that employees based on the scope of work need to be classified correctly, whether that's an electrician, a plumber, sheet metal worker, um, different types of laborers, power equipment operators, will help guide you based on the scope of work that we receive from contractors and agency contacts on the project. Um, the classifications are really important because they link to the prevailing wage minimum rates that have to be paid on the projects. Contact our office if you need your wage schedule. If you're not the prime contractor and you haven't received that information, it's really important that from the start of the project, before you even set foot on site to perform work, that you have the right classifications and the correct minimum rates. Similar to Davis-Bacon Act, how we mirror their wage schedules, there's a determination for the wage schedules assigned based on dates. So where the federal Davis-Bacon Act may have a wage schedule survive the entirety of a project, whether it's one year or five years that you're using the same wage schedule, Denver Prevailing Wage has annual updates. If your project goes longer than a year and you haven't received a new wage schedule from your prime, reach out to one of our analysts and we can help you so that you have current and accurate information for your project. Current wage schedules are published on our website. We wanna be transparent and provide that information to the public. However, these are for informational purposes only. We want to make sure that you're working with the correct analyst. You're always welcome to reach out to whoever you have contact information for, and we will get you to the right contact, the right project, because we want to make sure that you're not just going online and selecting what's most currently published, as that might not be the project wage schedule assigned to your work. You can use it, however, if you want to see the progression of rates. So what is LCP Tracker? It's a web-based system that the city and county of Denver jurisdiction uses for payroll compliance. So instead of everyone mailing or emailing pay stubs and time cards and information like that, we use a paperless online system so that you can submit the information to us. It'll be consistent and we will have a way to communicate through this website to audit your payroll and make sure that employees and employers are paid as soon as possible. Contractors and subcontractors must comply with the requirement to submit certified payroll. This includes owner operators self-performing on site, truck drivers, and 1099 employees. We provide a lot of resources on our website, but you're always welcome to just give us a call or shoot us an email asking for more help. We're happy to train you. Again, you must submit certified payroll in this website. So I'm gonna show you how to get started and log in and set up your employees. All right, how does a contractor even know about LCP Tracker? Well, if you're working on a city project, give us a call or email us. We can switch you to the most direct contact or analyst on your project to make sure that you get set up in the system correctly and assigned to the correct project. The prevailing wage analyst will guide you through the setup form. We have it available on our website if prime contractors are proactive to send this to their subcontractors and forward a completed copy to us. We will take this information and set you up in the LCP tracker system so that you will be able to access the website. We ask for a lot of information to make sure that we're, we are using the correct name have the correct contact who will receive automatic emails through LCP Tracker, and to make sure that we're not setting up duplicate accounts and using the wrong information. We need you to fill out that form and I'll walk you through it right now. So the contractor name, we have a lot of Rocky Mountain companies and a lot of Mile High companies. We need your full name, whether that includes PC, LLC, and Associates and Sons, Whatever your full name is, we need it on the form. The tax ID helps us to recognize if we already have you in the system. Again, we don't wanna create duplicate entries for you because then you're gonna have different usernames 
and that's going to be a little too much work for you. So we want to make sure we have you set up the first time, have your phone number, email address, whether you're union or non-union, that helps us with fringe benefit information. And then your address, again, we're just making sure you're, you're we're calling you when it's not 8 p.m. in London time and, and midnight in another country, right? And then standard hours and pay date, that just helps us recognize if you're putting something into your payroll records because you're bi-weekly or you pay on a monthly basis, we're able to help you break that information down so that we can audit more efficiently. Again, the setup sheet is available on our website at denverauditor.org forward slash prevailing wage. We want you to be able to use our resources, but if you need help navigating how to drop down the form section so that you can find other documents there, just give us a call or shoot us an email. All right. You've returned your form. I'm the analyst and I've set you up an LCP tracker. You're going to receive an email that confirms you've been set up. It's going to include your login information with your username and a temporary password. If you don't receive this email in your inbox, check your spam or junk folder. The temporary password is only valid for 24 hours. So if you need us to send you a new email, we're happy to do that. If you set up your current password and forget about it, we can also reset your password. So once you click that link in the email, you'll be prompted to lcptracker.com. Follow the instructions for the new password format. Make sure you dot all your I's and cross all your T's on that password. We'll use it again in your e-signature. All right, so you've set up your password, you're able to log in, and you're gonna see this main page with our City of Denver logo in the left-hand corner. You wanna make sure that you're in the correct jurisdiction in case you're working with CDOT or another jurisdiction so that you can find your project and do everything that you need to do. You'll go to the Setup tab, and at the very last row is the Add or Edit e-signature password. So if you forget it, you'll be able to set it up again. We can reset your password for logging in, but you are in charge of editing that e-signature. You can use the same password as your e-signature and it'll probably help to remember just one item. Again, this is just another little snippet from LCP Tracker to give you the rules of setting up that e-signature password and make sure you save your password. All right, getting a little further into the nitty gritty, you're going to add your employees. Again, this includes any 1099 independent contractors as well as owner operators self-performing work on site. You'll return to that setup tab and select add edit employees. This is the same tab where you add new employees and you edit their information. Note that you will not be able to submit certified payroll until you have added some employees so that you can add payroll records for those specific people. You need to complete all of the information, including anything that has a red star. Definitely check that I-9 verified box. If someone is an owner operator, you can check that box to communicate that information to us and select save at the bottom of the page. Again, if you're going to add or edit an employee, it's under that setup, add edit employee section. And there are a lot of different little sections that you can open and close so that you can add someone's address or fringe benefit information or other deduction notes for us. How about some final considerations? Remember, the prime and all tier subcontractors on the project are required to submit certified payroll in LCP Tracker in order to comply with prevailing wage requirements. It's a big learning curve. We're here to help. All right, you also want to make sure that you have the correct wage schedules. So don't feel like you can't reach out to us by phone or email. We want to hit the ground running to make you successful from the foundation 
before you even start work on site. We have a number of materials on our website. We have the forms. We have a clarification document outlining how we classify based on scope of work and location, not just job title. We have an eight page foundational prevailing wage overview. That's very helpful to identify the different wage schedules and different requirements, whether you have fringe benefits, owner operators, apprentices, excuse me, apprentices or um, salaried employees, a lot of different informational pieces there. And we also created tutorial videos. This is just a snapshot of three of many that we have. The first video is getting started. So if you had any questions about this training, I just walked through. You can walk through that training as well. Just to see two to three minute videos of the instructions with snapshots from LCP Tracker. We also have Rudy Lopez walking through submitting your first payroll record. And I walk through a video to fix any typos or errors in your payroll records. Like say you misclassified or need to edit the hours that are worked. These are all available at denverauditor.org forward slash prevailing wage. Thank you so much for your time to watch this. We have numerous resources available. If you need to reach out to an analyst directly, my information is on this website. My phone number is 720-913-5036. I'm happy to speak to you and answer any questions you have. By emailing your questions, we know how to best assist you. So please provide that project information to us and your company name. And we also provide on this page, the Fringe Benefits Technician email address, pwfringes at denvergov.org, just so you can get started on those before you hit the ground running on site. I'm gonna turn it back to Jeff if we have any questions. Again, thank you so much for your time and have a great day. Ariel, thank you so much for telling us all about LCP Tracker. Uh, what a wonderful job you've done. Um, we don't have any questions now, but um, analysts like Ariel and others will be continuing to give this kind of presentation on new subjects every Wednesday on what we're calling Wage Wednesdays. So I invite everybody to tune in and watch us on Facebook. Thank you so much and thank you, Ariel.